On the shores of Lake Michigan, nestled next to Calumet Park, sits a restricted area called the Confined Disposable Facility, a fancy title for a dump that is buried underneath the tall grass. For the past 40 years, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has used the 45-acre site to hold toxins dredged from the Calumet River. Right now it's uh, full and the Army Corps is looking to build it up another 25 feet of um, polluted dredge. The Army Corps is seeking permits to build a 25-foot tower on top of the full dump. I think it's really unfortunate that it's gotten this far without e any even real public engagement. There's a lot of people that have no idea what is actually at risk here on our lakefront with this toxic dump expansion. 10th Ward residents, the Alliance of the Southeast, and several environmental groups have taken legal action to stop the Army Corps from building another toxic dump on the site. This community is highly over burdened with already toxic sites throughout our communities and we're sick and tired of being the dumping ground uh, for the city of Chicago. Residents want the land returned to the park district for a park, which was part of the original deal when the legislature authorized the facility in the early 1980s. The Corps was supposed to use it for 10 years or until it became full. Maybe the Army Corps thought somebody would forget about that. But people remember it. The Environmental Law and Policy Center and over a dozen organizations sent a letter to Mayor Brandon Johnson asking him to demand the Army Corps find alternative sites away from the 10th Ward and especially away from a changing lakefront. Why put a toxic waste dump in a place that all the scientists are telling us is going to be battered by more intense storms, high winds and heavy waves due to climate change. Because of pending litigation, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers had no comment. Citing environmental concerns, it's the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency that so far has not issued the necessary permits to the Corps. Meantime, environmental groups will be in court arguing their case at the end of August.